Hi everybody, it's Alex. So I'm back with another sort of um, technique slash share to share with you guys. Um, so I was thinking of a couple other things that you could do with these really cool, you know, kids washable markers. And and last night I was like laying in bed and if I if my husband didn't think that I was completely nuts for getting out of bed and trying this in the middle of the night I would have but my mind was like stuck on this all night so I wanted to try it today um, to see if it worked so I could share with you guys so you know how the different companies have these um, stamp markers like this is Tombow you could buy these at Michaels I found actually um, it's in one of my videos a long time ago, a couple years ago, maybe like three years ago. I found like a wrapped up, a rubber banded, like um, wrapped up thing of these Stampin' Up! markers in the pay by the pound part of the Goodwill. And then they have these, um, you know, the Tim Holtz distress markers. And you can color on your stamps. Um, you can also color on images in watercolor. And and I wanted to share with you guys the same kind of thing goes for this just so you know if you have these Tombow markers and you um, you color on your paper hold on oh, where'd it go I wasn't as prepared as that thought okay so you color on your paper and then you add water to it it blends out like a watercolor um, that had a little more time to dry I guess this is watercolor paper um, yes yeah, so just know that you could use these like a watercolor let's try this stampin up one so if you were like say coloring an image like there's like I don't know that's a brownish terracotta color if like say you're coloring a basket you can color the edges and then start pulling the color away and you can watercolor with your Stampin' Up! markers. Same thing. Let's, let me try this again without having to wait so long. And then you could do the same thing with your Tombow markers. And the, the their selling point for these Tombow markers especially is that you can color on your stamps with them. Like if you had a flower stamp, you can color some of it purple and then you could take the green one and you can color the stem and then you can stamp it down on your paper and that's a way to get um, all the, the you know different colors on your stamp um, lines, I guess. But I wanted to share with you, I have this stamp here and it's not in the best shape. It, it was actually given to me and I, you know, I was looking through my stamps and I do not have flower stamps. So I was lucky I found this little bag of stamps that was given to me. So this worked perfectly. So I wanted to share this little trick with you guys. So these stamps, like I said, you can color on your stamp and you can make your flower purple and you can make your stem green. Well, you can do the same thing with these way cheaper Crayola markers. So I just wanted to give you guys a little demo. Let's see. Like, this is watercolor paper, like I said. Um, just the Target brand, nothing like crazy expensive. So you color on your your stamped image, and I know some of you have seen it before, but for those of you who haven't, the markers, you can you color on your image, and then you either huff on it, and by huffing I mean, I don't mean like um, blowing, like you're blowing out a candle. You sort of blow like as if you're you know you blow on a mirror you blow your hot breath and you see the dew like the wetness on the mirror so the wetness of your hot breath sort of um, gets on the stamp yeah and see the the ink transferred um, it sort of gets on the stamp and um, like like makes the ink wet like reactivates it your breath does and you can stamp it down um, or you can spray water on it for you know a different look these are green too so yeah just take your washable markers and um, I think Marissa asked me um, th this is a different Marissa not you creative young mama <laughs> she asked me if the these markers said it was for watercoloring and no the package doesn't say that as long as the package says that they they are washable you can do this because you know they react with water so you could do this or a watercolor with it. So we're just going to color. 
and you know if you're afraid to kind of mess these up and like like that one got some orange on it if they're your kids see it I guess it didn't do too bad it comes it starts to go away but I was gonna say maybe get a set specifically for doing this kind of thing so I don't know if you feel more comfortable doing something like that okay so it, it looks like it got kind of dry right so either you could try your breath and blow on it or you can spray a little bit of water now I tested it and if you spray close and you try to stamp it makes this yucky puddle but if you spray further back which I'm gonna go away from my camera spray further back and you get it just a little damp stamp it down And voila, you have just stamped all these different colors with kids' Crayola markers. Isn't that cool? I mean, you can buy the bigger packs of markers that have more colors, like like if you didn't want like you know the leaves to be like a lime-looking green. I'm sure you could buy, um, you know, different kinds. But I just wanted to share that with you guys that these more expensive markers for these you can buy which I love these don't get me wrong you could buy these at Michaels I think five come in a pack and they're about seventeen dollars or I got this ten pack of Crayola markers you know I know that their their formulas are a little bit different and stuff like that but you know I mean come on I got this ten pack for like four or five dollars so yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys I thought it was really cool and um, I'll be trying some other things and I'll let you guys know, you know, if it's a hit or a miss, if it's a, if it's a big flop. But um, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.